With the picture-perfect build-up to the 19th edition of the Cup Sani to see, the scene was set for another titanic battle. With the mighty southern Drakensberg Mountains on full display, the mood of the riders was a mixed bag of excitement and slight trepidation. The Cup Sani to see is widely regarded as the fastest three-day stage race in the country, and with South Africa's top teams in attendance, it is going to be fireworks. Um, I love this race. It's super fast, super tactical, and um, yeah, to do it with Tristan, it's going to be cool. We found a good uh, click this year, so yeah, looking forward to it. We know this race really well. It's going to be a tactical battle, but yeah, looking forward to, to the racing that's coming. With the men's race being made up of a well-rounded mix of youthful exuberance and experience across the Toyota Specialized, Mbuko Type Dev and Insect Science teams, the pace was electric as soon as the neutral zone came to an end. With 13 k's of open gravel road to set the tone, the Toyota Specialized train immediately moved to the front of the bunch, pouring the pressure onto the chasing Mbuko Type Dev, Insect Science and Valley Electrical teams, pushing to enter Akert single track first. Upon exiting Akerts, only the pairing of Marco Joubert and Vessel Boerta had managed to hold the wheel of the hard-charging Beers and Nokia. By the time the leading teams hit the Great Oak Trail, the break had been solidified at 1 minute and 30 seconds. Pushing hard but seemingly losing ground, Team Insect Science led the chasing bunch with Mbuko Type Dev 2 and Valio Electrical holding their wheel. Great Oak is a wildly fun trail that sees riders snaking their way back down to the P271 District Road and can be deceptive as the twists and turns give the chasing bunch the impression that they are closer to the leading bunch than they actually are. Bramble Ripper Trail, another single track highlight, leads the riders directly into the new PG Bison Spaghetti Junction. Despite the updated floating bridge causing much pre-race debate on which line to choose, the leading teams charged on. Having rolled through Big Ring Climb and OG Single Track Descent, the two top teams were still pushing hard and seemed inseparable. Heading into Muffin Top Trail at the 70 km mark, the experienced Anu Boerta of Team Insect Science made their intentions clear by surging to the front, pushing Mbuko Type Dev 2 to the limit. But try as they might, the top two teams continued to build on their lead. Heading into the final few kilometers of the day, Powerhouse Beers moved to the front, pushing the pace for Team Toyota Specialized, with Mbuko Type Dev 1 holding their wheel perfectly positioned to spring an attack. Timing it to perfection, Jubair and Boerta surged past Beers and Nokia to claim stage 1 of the 2023 Cup Sony to see just a slender 5 seconds ahead of Toyota Specialized, but a full 2 minutes and 30 seconds ahead of third placed Mbuko Type Dev 2. Yeah, happy of a stage win and we've got a nice gap to third place as well. So looking forward to going into tomorrow, which is a big stage. Um, but yeah, we raced last year and we know what to expect. And hopefully we can do something similar. In the ladies race, it was a one horse race with Kim Lacour and Sam Sanders of Team Efficient Infinity surging to the front, leaving the pairings of Sarah Hill and Harms and Pretorius, as well as Daniela Stradam and Carla Stumpf to duke it out for second. Despite being able to hold Hills and Pretorius' wheel for the early kilometers of stage one, Stratum and Stump suffered stomach issues and had to retire from the race. This gifted the hard-charging pairing of Hill and Harms and Pretorius an uncontested second place, with the in-form pairing of Sanders and Lacour flying through the final few kilometers to take the stage one win in a time of 3 hours and 29 minutes. Sam and I just took our tempo on the first climb and tried to stick with the boys and yeah we got away from there I think and we just kept our own race we didn't try and worry about who's behind and how far they are um, we had a lot of fun we laughed a lot and made a few jokes and yeah super excited to start tomorrow and see how it goes with the racing action taking place up front the bulk of the riders were fighting their own battles in what has to be some of the best riding conditions the Cup Sony to see has had in recent years Jump on board and come along for the ride. It's been five sunny to season. And, uh, it's purely the single track. Every single year just gets better and better. So I'm here to ride, enjoy the single track to the max uh, and uh, test myself with a bit of endurance and eating good food. Eh? <laughs>
super day. Thank you guys. Cheers.